Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I will elaborate on the 2024 updates of The Boring Company. While the majority of interest in the space is still focused on Tesla, SpaceX, and the website that was formerly known as Twitter, Elon Musk Universe, The Boring Company, has persevered. We now have evidence that The Boring Corporation has altered its goals for what they want to accomplish and made new technological advancements in tunneling that could change their fortunes, all the while being haunted by bureaucracy. Now I know you're wondering what the Boring Company has been up to these past months. Good news for the Boring Company. The company's application to expand the Las Vegas Tunnel Network was unanimously granted by the local city council, enabling it to proceed with its plan to build an underground network consisting of 68 miles of tunnels and 81 stations. While the remainder of the extension will connect places further afield, the initial phase will focus on the downtown cores of Las Vegas. This might make the extension a true transit system for the city's residents rather than merely a tourist attraction. Three stations around the Las Vegas Convention Center connect three exhibition halls and one connector tunnel leads to the neighboring Resorts World Hotel. These are the only parts of the Vegas Loop that are currently in use. The Boring Company appears to be working out all the kinks in the Convention Center Loop to ensure that the system functions as smoothly as possible. It has been running for more than two years, and in that time it has carried over 1.2 million passengers, reaching an impressive peak daily capacity of 32,000 riders. A branch of the Convention Center Loop to Resorts World opened in the summer of 2022 and has two more connections to the Westgate Hotel, which is presently under construction, and the Encore Luxury Resort. The 2,325-foot Encore Tunnel is planned to open in early 2024, and it will take about a minute to go from the resort to the Convention Center's Central Hall. The Boring Company intends to build an additional return tunnel for each of the new stations once all three offshoots are operational to enable simultaneous travels between the convention center and the resorts. The present design calls for the entire Las Vegas system to be built out in sections and then integrated to create a continuous transit loop from the South Strip to the downtown core. With the two machines in the ground for the previous few months, the construction is well on its way. While individual properties will pay for their stations, the Boring Company will build out the tunnel system at its own expense, the Tropicana portion, which will include the University of Nevada and the Allegan Stadium Resorts along Las Vegas Boulevard and Tropicana Avenue, is anticipated to be the first to be built beneath the Strip. The Boring Company might potentially transform urban transportation as we know it and make Elon Musk even more absurdly wealthy than he already is if the Las Vegas project proves to be successful. Investor Warren Redlick thinks the Boring Company might be valued at $1 trillion by 2030 and go public by 2028. By then, he anticipates building over 10,000 miles of tunnels and in five years, over 100,000 miles. By 2040, the company's innovations in the rock tunnel boring machine might link Asia and North America. Well, it turns out Elon Musk agrees with Redlick responding directly to the post, stating it is actually possible from a technology standpoint. Elon followed that up by saying, The biggest hindrance is getting permits for all the work the company needs to do. That construction is becoming practically illegal in North America or Europe. Does this imply that in another 20 years we will be building tunnels to reach Asia? Well, it's conceivable, but maybe not so soon after we find out Elon can fulfill his technological pledges. Usually the time frame turns out to be far overly optimistic. But anyway, we're here to support it. If the previously discussed scenarios come to pass, the Boring Company will require a tunneling machine that operates at a far faster and more efficient pace. And the business announced on August 18, 2023, that testing of its most recent generation tunneling device, the Proof Rock 3, had started. Currently, 
Its goal is to target a launch time of less than 24 hours, which is half of the proof Rock 2 and complete continuous mining, where the machine never stops. By operating the machine around the clock, this will significantly reduce downtime and move it closer to the larger objective of achieving that 7 mile per day. Recent footage from the Texas facility has revealed a new design for tunnel linings. Up until this point, the boring company has used trapezoidal segments to build the tunnel lining. But it appears with the move to the Proof Rock 3, they will now be using hexagonal segments instead. And this is a very significant change. Because hexagonal segments may be put together piece by piece rather than ring by ring, they are essential to enable continuous mining. The use of hexagonal concrete segments reduces cost and complexity, allowing for quick assembly of tunnels. However, these segments require thicker, stronger materials to bear more load and may cause slippage at joints, which can be costly to repair. Bastrop, Texas is experiencing rapid pace of construction for SpaceX and adjacent properties, including the Boring Machine Proof Rock 3, housing complex, and environmental concerns due to the rapid pace of construction. The Texas Commission on Environment Quality has already hit the property with several violations over poor erosion control. Bastrop County has issued another violation over unauthorized wastewater holding tanks with regulators facing delays, and regulators say they are regularly hounded by staff and consultants to expedite and approve permit applications that are incomplete or not in compliance. The Boring Company's application to build a wastewater plant is still pending approval, with potential consequences for the environment and technology. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.